Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to bind a placemat. It's quick and easy and you can also use it to bind a table runner. So let's get on and show you how to do this. So I have a table runner and a placemat that I'm going to put binding around. Now for the table runner I have three strips of fabric and they measure two and a quarter inches wide and for the placemat I have two strips of fabric that measure two and a quarter inches wide. So when you buy a pattern or you, you're using someone's pattern I'll generally tell you how many strips you need but if you are making a project from scratch and you're not sure what you need then we do have a video on how to calculate that uh, the amount of strips that you need and I'll put a link in the description below. Now the first thing I'm going to do is trim off all the salvages. Now when you're cutting off your salvages you can just snip them off with scissors or use your rotary cutter but just a couple of little things to, to note is I like to have mine straight. I like to make sure that everything is straight so I just put them down on my mat and line up the edge with my ruler and then I can just cut it off. Now and I know that it's going to be perfectly straight. Now you'll notice these little dots here well sometimes you'll get a salvage and you can see it doesn't have this white large white piece and the dots are here in the fabric itself so when you're cutting your salvages off make sure that you come below those lines okay so here we go we'll just trim those off now I've just turned the strips around and I've done the same thing again lined up with my ruler and as you can see I've brought the ruler below those dots so because we want to make sure that we cut those off so now you lay one strip with the right side up and you place the other strip with the right side down just across it like that. And you leave a little bit at each side and what we're going to do is we're going to sew from here to here. Now to remember where you're sewing this forms an L and you want to start with the, at the V with the long end and you'll come across and you'll finish on the in the V on the piece going this way. Okay, so I've drawn a line just to show you that you can draw a line, but do make sure that you get your needle right into these the start and the finish of these V's here. Okay, and then just pin it. So we'll go and sew that together now. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put my needle in the down position, and then I just push my binding up into till the V is is resting against the needle. Then just drop the foot and away we go. Take the pins out and you see this is what we're going to end up with. Right so first we check that everything is sitting nicely and it is. So now what we want to do is we want to just trim this. Now you can just trim it and eyeball it with your scissors or if you've got a one of these add a quarter rulers you can just use that and we just want to leave a, a seam of about a quarter of an inch it doesn't have to be that exactly all right so now we bring this piece over and we'll give it a bit of a press and what we'll do is we'll cut those those taggy bits off so we have our really long piece of binding and now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it in half and give it a press and we'll do that all the way down the strip. So now we're going to add the binding to our placemat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the reverse side so that's our top so that goes face down. I'm going to leave about, oh, about six inches of tail and I'll probably start about here. Now you can do it on either the short end or the long end, I've done it on either, it's, it's simply up to you where you start, but if you're just starting out it might be easier for you doing, using the long, the long end. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the raw edges, so not the folded edge, and we're going to place it along the raw edge of the placemat. And I'm just going to pin that in place. And what I'll do is I'm only going to pin this first section because we're going to stop and I'll show you the, the second section once we're sewing it. But I'm going to start with a back stitch and I'll sew to within a quarter of an inch of the edge here. Okay so I have my tail out the back here so it's about six inches and I'm going to be sewing this with a quarter inch seam from this edge. 
So I'm going to do a small back stitch to start with. Just a couple of stitches. And then we're going to sew towards the bottom here. And when I get to about an inch away, I'm just going to bring my ruler in and I'm going to place it so this is an add a quarter of a, an inch, so I'm just going to line it up along this edge here, the, the edge of the placemat, and I'm just going to draw a line. It's a quarter of an inch from the end. And I sew up to that line, and I'll just do a bit of a back stitch, and pick up the thread and take this from the machine. So you can see where we've sewn here and we have our tail free and now we come up here uh, and I'm going to fold the binding back so I'm going to fold it on a diagonal and what I want to do is I want to make sure that it lines up perfectly with the placemat okay so just get that in, in order all right so you can see there that it runs along there evenly and now you want to just bring the binding back and then just till it when you fold it you've got this little flap all meets up nicely okay and your folded edge runs along the edge of the placemat here and the binding runs down the side here okay because now we're going to sew down here and then we're going to do the same process again at the next corner Okay, so here's our little corner flap, laying nice and flat, and we're going to pop that into the machine. And we're going to start with a corner of a seam, of course. I'm going to do a bit of a back stitch first. And there we go. I get about an inch from the end. I'm going to do my little add a quarter, so laying the ruler up along the edge of the placemat and just drawing a line here. Now the reason I do it this way for me is because I sometimes find that the binding moves so if I've drawn it on beforehand um, it can often be out. stitch. Okay so now we're going to do the corner piece again and I'm just showing you from a different angle this time it just might help. All right so again we're going to fold our binding on a diagonal like that and we're going to have make sure that it lines up perfectly with our placemat. I'll just finger press that, pop your finger in there and bring this back and fold it over. Okay and just make sure that that folded edge lines up with the placemat there, edge there. Okay, and then we just bring this, this edge down, line them up, and again we'll pin this and sew it. Okay, so I've sewn all the corners down, put my binding on, and I've come around. Now we're going to do this last little bit. Now as you can see here, I've only just brought this around a couple of inches on this end, and, and I have all of this left here. And then what I've done is I've cut a piece of the end of here that I'm going to use as a measure. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second. So I take my tail piece and lay it down. So this gap here is, is about six inches. You can leave a bit more if you like because this is a little fiddly and the more room you've got the better. Okay, so I'll lay this down. Then I take my piece that I've cut off from the end of my binding. So you should have enough binding to cut a, a two inch piece off there. And I'm just going to open it up and lay it matching the edges there on the tail piece and just lay that there. Okay, so I hope this is making sense. So now I'm going to bring the top piece over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the edge of that piece of, of fabric that I have there, sitting across the bottom. Okay, so I'll just run through that again. So we have the tail piece. We have the piece that we cut off as a measure, 
and we lay that over the tail piece, bring the top piece over and we're going to cut across here. I'll do that now. Right. Okay, so now what we're going to do, oh, I didn't do a very good job of that, did I? Just trim it up. Okay, so now we need to sew the two ends together. So what I've got here is I'll take the top piece and open it up, and I'm just going to put that with the right side facing up, and I take the tail piece that we started out with, and I'm just going to lay that on top. And you'll find that you'll have to pull this piece up so you can get comfortable with it and it'll, it won't be stretched out. Okay, so now we just want a small overlap. We don't need too great a, an overlap here. And so you can see there I have one piece on top of the other with the right sides facing. And I'm going to just pop a pin in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew from, let's lay that out so you can see it, from here to here. So I'll come across here on the diagonal from one V to the next. So I'll just show you this from another angle. So we take the top tail, open it up, and lay it flat with the right side facing up. We take the bottom tail, and we place that with the right side facing down. Okay, so we've got right sides together. And just leave a little bit of an overlap. You don't need a great, great big overlap on this. I'm just gonna pop a pin in there, just to hold it in place. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to sew from here to here. And you'll notice that that runs parallel. Our seam is going to run parallel to our placemat edge. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so as you can see, I've sewn from edge to edge and it's sitting together nicely and now I shall fold it in half and make sure that it is sitting in the right position. Yes, it is. Had I sewn the seam in the wrong direction, it wouldn't work. So that's why you need to pay particular attention on how you're going to sew it. Now, if you've folded over, this is going to sit nicely in here so I can sew down the, the seam line. But if you find that your piece is too, um, too short, then you may have to actually add a piece of binding in. So if it was pulling and you know it was going to make it too it was too tight and it didn't fit, you can unpick the seam and just add a piece of binding in the same as we added the binding when we were doing the long strip. Uh, and if same as if it's um, too big, then you can undo your seam and put the pieces together and make a bigger overlap. But it should work uh, just doing what we've done, and mine does. So we need to cut this bulk. You can see here we've got a bit of bulk there, we don't need all that fabric sitting there. So you can use your uh, ruler and measure a quarter of an inch or you can just eyeball it, which I'm going to do and just cut with my scissors and I'm going to cut that excess bulk off. Okay, so we've cut that off, got our seam there and you'll see that folds back nicely. So I've given it a press so that it sits nice and flat and now I'm just going to finish it off by sewing it along the edge here with a quarter inch seam and I'll do a little back stitch at, at either end. Okay, so it's all sewn down now. So what we need to do now is just flip our placemat over and we want to bring the binding over to the front. So just pull it round. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it over and pin it in place. And when we're at the corner, just lay it flat and then you'll have this sort of diagonal over here. And that's going to form our mitre. So we just bring it over. And you can wiggle with these, I mean you play around with them until you get them sitting how you want it to be. Okay. Pop a pin in there. Let's finger press that down and bring it back over. 
And as I say, you can just fiddle with it till you get it how you want it to look. So now that it's pinned in place, it's time just to sew it. Okay, so I'm starting just a little down from the corner and I'm going to sew as close to the edge as possible and I'm just going to sew all the way around. Do a little bit of a back stitch. Okay, so now that I'm at the corner, I'm just coming up and I've just gone over the fold, just a, just the stitch, two, and then just go back and turn. with the back stitch. So there we are, all done. That's how I bind a placemat. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel.